Good morning. This is Michael from inspiredtoeducate.net and so excited to uh, share like a little uh, video on how to include awesome 3D content uh, in maps in your web applications. So before we get into that, I have to confess, I'm still on vacation. In early May, I got to visit this fantastic little place called Kauai in Hawaii. And this was one of my favorite landscapes that I witnessed in uh, the west side of the island. They call this the Grand Canyon of the Pacific. And these pictures from Google Maps are, you know, beautiful. They look like postcards. I don't feel like the pictures do the place justice it was simply breathtaking highly recommend that you check it out sometime they also had great chickens as well anyway so we uh were there and we ended up you know, like our hotel was somewhere in the south but these mountains that i just showed you are somewhere here in the west right and um the, these mountains are just simply beautiful you were able to kind of drive up and uh, enjoy uh, the majesty and the wonder and beauty of that moment. So back to maps. Like this map that I'm showing you uh, is built uh, using a new API that Google's released called the Tiles API. And uh, wanted to share that with you. I got exposed to this through the Google IO Connect conference from Google and big shout out and high fives to Google. Uh, for making this possible and we'll definitely be bringing more of this kind of content to our local Google developer groups. So if uh, we kind of like maybe just look at a different case, right? So uh, let's say we're in Miami and Google Earth and you know I kind of want to understand what's hip and cool to do in South Beach. You know, like Google Earth as a technology can all, has always had this amazing ability to kind of show 3D content um, over a map. And that technology has continued to improve like over time. So now that same technology can be a part of your web app. So like in the sample, we'll go over to Miami as well. I see it, you know, uh, the location called Miami, and I'm zooming in with my mouse. And, like, in my little, like, um, application of demo code, you could see it, like, it, all that spatial data is all there. So... From a technical standpoint, Google's new contribution is that the Tiles API allows you to access the tile data that they have under their infrastructure. If you have some form of renderer, then you can, you know, create experiences like that. The, Google's provided a really nice code sample using uh, a tool called Cesium, uh JS that provides that renderer. Please note that for people who do Unreal and Unity, uh, you also have the ability to integrate to this as well um, and whatnot. So to get started, um, we're going to kind of just look at um, the Google Maps platform API. Um, make sure to just Google for that. Uh, make sure to click the read the docs link. You'll get pretty much close to this screen and you want to go down to the 3D tiles subsection. In particular, you can search for work with 3D tiles renderer. There's several examples on this page. The one that we're going to uh, call out today is uh, the second one here. In order to get started with this, you need to make sure that you enable 
the Maps JavaScript API, the Places Autocomplete API, Billing, and uh, the Maps API in general. So they, they've provided you know more detailed examples uh, and instructions for that. You would basically integrate uh, your API keys that you get from that process here and down here. And again, if you needed that link, again, that's the link you're going to go to. The sample just has, you know, uh, a label and input. It's a div that will contain our cesium container. You can configure the number of requests uh, to the server by your taste. We instantiate a viewer. We uh, instantiate the tileset data to the viewer. And the init function, uh, this basically gives you an auto-completing box for different locations. And as soon as you select a location, um, this function uh, executes that, then takes that lot long data and allows you to fly down to that entity. So this type of thing you can integrate in under an hour and it's breathtaking and beautiful. So again, shout out to uh, my Unity and XR friends. Uh, if you're interested in exploring the same technology um, in XR, that result looks pretty cool. Uh, in Unreal Engine and uh, look forward to trying to test that same result in the Unity platform in VR. So uh, just wanted to give a shout out to that technology today. Again, thank you. Thank you to Google for um, the opportunity to connect with like-minded individuals in Google IO Connect and creating opportunities for developers across the world. Cheers. Take care. Bye.